while flying may be the safest way to travel, it's perhaps not so safe for the environment. We know that airplanes burn tons of fuel in the atmosphere, but each airport consumes as much energy as a small town. Why is that? The Leonardo da Vinci Airport at Fiumicino near Rome is the busiest in Italy and sixth busiest in Europe. Opened in the early 60s, it serves almost 40 million passengers per year, gobbling up as much energy as a town of 50,000 households. Just the indoor areas of the airport span over 300,000 square meters. We use around 100,000 light appliances, and all these spaces require a lot of energy to adjust the air temperature, to warm up or cool down these large volumes of air. Ventilation systems in all airports aren't very efficient. Saving energy on air conditioning without impacting on passengers' comfort is a challenge. Ventilation systems like this consume around 50% of all the energy used at the airport. By improving just this one utility, we can significantly reduce the overall consumption. So how does this huge air conditioning system work? Let's have a look at the technical areas of the airport, usually hidden from passengers. A European research project suggests coupling sensor technologies with intelligent software to make old air conditioning systems smarter. We're right under Terminal 1 of Fiumicino Airport, and through all these kilometers of pipes, air is pumped into the terminal building. And here is an air handling unit. Units like this use a lot of thermal and electric energy. All across the underground ventilation network, researchers have installed sensors that automatically detect various hidden problems causing waste of energy, such as simultaneous heating and cooling or mechanical malfunctions. All the data from sensors is collected in this unit here and then transmitted through this controller into the central database. Intelligent software constantly analyzes the data. If a problem is detected, the software immediately informs maintenance teams so that wasting energy can be stopped as quickly as possible. We can see that there's a fault here. We can click and you can see the fault has been highlighted. So it's telling us that there's um, uh, some of the temperatures are out of range. There's a problem with um, one of the air handling units with the, uh, the pumps. There's also a, a, an email gone to the energy manager and that is notifying them of this particular fault. So they get an action which they need to follow up to make sure that the problem is corrected quickly and effectively. The continuing research and development should result in a kind of smart home system for airports, a simple and inexpensive solution that would save energy and reduce CO2 emissions. Our objective is to save 20% of energy. Ambitious, but we know it's possible.